Let's pretend that we're playing blackjack. And in this video, we're going to get the every possible combination uh, when you have aces. Now, it gets a lot easier if you understand concepts like combinations and permutations. Even if you don't, don't worry about it. In this video, we're going to use a more simplified, direct way of just following one logical step after another. The full game, uh, in terms of graphics, dealing the cards, and all that. We're going to get to that later in this playlist. In this video, we're just concerned about the very process of getting every possible combinations of, of aces. And as you know, in blackjack, an ace could either be a 1 or 11. So here I have my default console app. I'm going to have a function called get ace combinations. And depending on the number of aces that you have, for example, you might have four aces in your in your hand, which doesn't make much sense, but just mathematically, you could have four aces, or three, or two, or one. And of course, if you have no aces in your hand, you don't use this function. So for the function, I'm going to say, we don't have graphics yet, but I'm just going to say, see out, you have n number of aces. Let me also put a line here at the end, just to make it look nice. F5. Okay, so you could either have four, three, two, or one. We're going to iterate through every ace that we have in our hand. I'm going to use a for loop. And if you don't understand for loops, make sure you check out the previous videos in this playlist. So we go through every ace in our hand. And for every single ace, we're going to decide whether it's going to be a 1 or an 11. So let's think of every possible combinations that we can have with the aces. If you have four aces, which is the maximum, you could have four 11s or four 1s or anything in between. So let's pretend that A is 11, B is 1. You could have four A's. You could also have four B's. You could have three A's, one B, two A's, two B's, one A, and three Bs. Now for blackjack, the order doesn't matter. However, you hold your cards, you're still going to get the same result. So A, 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 B is the same as B, A, A, A. Or A, B, A, A. These are all the same. It also makes no difference whether your ace is clubs or diamonds, hearts, or spades. You're, you're still going to have ones or elevens. So the only question that we're really concerned about is first, you want to get how many aces do you have? The next next question is how many 11s do you want to have? And then, and then you're pretty much done because if you have four aces, and then if you have two 11s, then the other aces are going, going to be ones. Or if you have two aces, you could either have uh, two, two 11s or two ones or one 11 and one one. So the, the equation is something like total aces minus the number of 11s that you have, and you're just going to be left with all the ones. So back in our code, I'm going to make this a little clearer by using the word total. And when you're thinking of every single possible combinations, first let's start with possible 11s every possible 11s that you can have. So you could start with zero 11s. And the maximum number number of 11s that you can have depends on the, the total number of aces that you have. So by doing this, we're going to iterate through every possible combinations of 11s. And I'm going to do a C out for every 11. Okay, let me also put a line here just to separate the results. And if I press F5, okay, so if you have four aces, you could have no 11s, or one 11, or two 11s, three 11s. Looks like we're missing the fourth 11. Let me put an equal sign here, on the F5 again. Okay, so with four aces, you could have no 11s, one 11, or two 11s, three 11s, four 11s, and so on. If you have three aces, you could have zero 11s, one 11, two 11s, 
or 311s. It just keeps on going. And the next logical step is simply getting the leftovers, which are ones. So we iterate through all the possible combinations of ones. In this case, it gets a lot easier because all you got to do is, again, get the leftovers. And the, the max number of ones you can have is the max number of the leftovers. Okay, and for every single one, I'm going to say one. Okay, if I press F5. Okay, so it's quite simple. If you have four aces, you could have no 11s. Again, it's the same thing. We're just filling up the blanks with the ones. So I'll, I'll do it here this time. If you have one ace, you could have one one or one 11. Or with two aces, you could have two ones, one 11, one one, or two 11s. Let me also print out a sum of all the results. So every time we iterate, we have a we have a result. And whenever we get an 11, we add 11 to the integer. And the same with ones, every time we have a one, we add one to the result. And instead of just an empty line, I can say for every combination, the result is the result integer. Okay, so we're just tallying up the results. F5, right? We have every single possible combinations, and next to each combination, we add up the results. And of course, these re results, 24, 34, 44, you're not going to get these results, so we're going to get rid of this later on. Anything of, above 21 is pointless, but for this video, we're just focusing on getting every possible combinations of aces. So we're pretty much done with the process. The issue with this code is that if you have some other game where the ace could be three or four different objects, then you have a problem because you have to get into functions that calculate permutations or combinations. In this, in this case, it's a lot easier because you only have two choices. And whatever choice that you make, you have a leftover. And that's about it. The rest of the game is dealing the hand as well as tallying up the results with the rest of your hand. It's nothing really more than a bunch of if statements. The only issue is writing it in a way that is possibly more readable and more manageable. And we'll get to that later in this playlist. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, you can reach me on my Discord server. I have all the links below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.